2009, the world's greatest humans competed in the world's greatest tournament of greatest humans, worlds. The prize? Ownership of several million pounds of land in an undisclosed location. All of those in attendance hoped they would win, but only one knew where to put his balls. Whoa! What's that, dude? Dude, calm down. From now on, this place shall be known as Ramboja. No, wait. Yes, Ramboja. This has been History of Ramboja. <clears throat> Give it to him, Johnny. Give it to him, good. Hello. Did you hear it? Can you hear it? That's right. It is the show. I'm the one known as OJ, and with me here for your listening pleasure is the one, the only, John Rambo. Yes, I'm here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, John? Doing all right, How sir. How are you feeling? Feeling all right, sir. How are you smelling? Smelling all right, sir. Here's the real question. How are you tasting? Pulpy. I'm a... Oh, very nice. Lovely. That's my favorite. My personal favorite. <laughs> How's it going today, sir? Ah, it's going all right. Another exciting Wednesday. Back on Wednesday. Feels our natural uh, spot. Feels good. Be back our natural habitat and all that stuff. Yeah, it was a little weird on Thursday. It's just like it's the same but different. We got a big uh, basketball game out tonight. Oh ho! Which uh, maybe actually watching while we're doing this. <laughs> this may turn out to be the worst show ever. You know, depending on uh, what happens in this game, I might, might just start yelling all of a sudden, curse. Not at you. Usually I do that in your direction, but this this will be about that. Maybe for both. I don't know, depending on what you have to say today with well, your uh, diatribes well, that you put forth into the world. My but tirades. Tirades and all that. Rants. But uh, we're here, man. You know, the show the show must happen. Uh, you know, this is the only time we could do it, and uh, we're, we're happy to be doing it. And we're glad oh, that yeah. all of you are here to join us today. Mm -hmm. So... I want to talk a little bit about uh, next week's show. That's always fun. We start off this show talking about next week's show. We Whoa. like to do that from time to time. Whoa. <laughs> Usually people wait till the end so you know what's coming up next we week. We do it in the but beginning. It's out of the way at the beginning. It'll, what's it'll coming up fast. today, we're not going to tell you. If you want to find out what's coming up today, go to the beginning of last week's show. Well, that's what it's all about. We already got you today, so now we can start promoting the next one. That's how. That's marketing. It's genius, <laughs> right? So uh, I, I, I realized uh, that Iron Man's coming out. On Friday, Dude. it's already out overseas. We know that. Dude. It's actually breaking records. Uh, it's beating Avengers overseas already? in the markets. That yeah, it's blowing away Avengers. It's, it's like it's doing amazingly. It's supposed to be really good. So I'm excited to see. I know you are. You already have. You built a suit. You built a skin tight Iron Man suit for yourself. You ready to rock well, with this thing? It's skin tight on the inside, but the outside is made <laughs> of hard metal plating. And it's see through. Yeah, it even has suit. real Iron Man, like, you know the how when Tony he flies, kind of design. vibrates a little bit? It does yeah. the same thing. Yeah, right, right. So, uh, it's coming out Friday. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be seeing this this weekend. Are you going to go see it at some point? I'm hoping to. If my time, if, if, if my schedule works out this weekend, then yes. So, if you guys remember, last year we did a summer movie blockbuster spectacular. Mm -hmm. And it was about a year ago, if you believe it or not. It's been a year already. Dang. So, I think Iron Man 3 kind of kicks it off the season. So what we're going to do next week, we're going to uh, give our thoughts on Iron Man, of course, after we see it. Mm, I don't know if anyone always. cares about what we have to say about it, but if you do, then well, that's what we'll be doing. And um, then we will be conducting our uh, summer movie blockbuster, Especial, mm -hmm. for 2013, where we go through all the, the movies that are coming out. And, and I will probably complain about movies that I haven't even seen yet. OJ complains sometimes, and people get mad. Last year, a lot of people got mad at you last year. You put down one yeah. of the, the uh, Pixar movies or something, 
and then people were real upset. I don't know. I don't even remember what movie it was. It was some. We'll, we'll go back and check. It, it was a but, big. Uh, mis- I think it was a big misunderstanding. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I just realized like this camera flips things. Like this guitar, is actually yeah it reverses stuff. It's always very confusing. I figure out how to flip uh, it back. Anyway, it looks normal on the stream. It does, but it's not the way things really are. It's like doing a mirror. It's doing a yeah. mirror jump. Anyway, it didn't always used to do that. I don't know. It's weird. But um, so next week we're going through all the movies. We'll talk about movies that we think will be good. Give our thoughts and, and try to be funny and uh, as we usually try to be. Uh, try. We'll show. So that'll be next week. And uh, today we're going to talk about a bunch of uh, random, random stuff and then uh, do the comments and, the, and some calls and all that jazz. Right? All right. Is that I okay can, with you? I can handle some of that. So uh, anyway, today, uh, today I killed a mouse. <laughs> live or computer? No, it, no it, was, it was alive. But I saw him like uh, a mm. couple weeks ago, late at night. I kept In the garage, I keep uh, water, like water bottles. Yeah. Like this, because we got to buy, we talked about this before, you got to buy water now, right? Yeah. You got to buy all this water, so keep the water in the garage. So I went in there late at night, and I saw him. He thought he could escape me, but I saw him, and he was running around. He ran by. So uh went out and got some traps. And they used to have these traps that, like, you know, they, you know the ones that, like, just shut. and they Have like, a heart traps. Right. But they're not very good, because a lot of times they just completely destroy the thing. Like, the head comes yeah. off and everything. It's disgusting. Or a lot of times they go off, and when they're not supposed to, they'll set them off and begin to escape. So I get these ones that are, like, sticky. It's like a, You know about this? Oh, gosh, like a roach motel? It's it's like a sticky thing, and there's, you're, you're, you catch them in it, and they're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to, like, let them go um, after they're caught in it. How? You, like, there's something you pour on it, and then, then it, the stickiness stops, and they can oh, go. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. But the problem is if they get stuck in it, like, so let's say, at a certain time, and you don't find the thing for a day, then they will not survive. <laughs> oh... So I found him and he was he was done, and I feel kind of bad about it. And I saw him. I saw his little eyes frozen. I had to take him outside and I, threw, and I put him, uh, give him a nice little spot where a like, raccoon will probably feast on him, you know. And then that was that. But uh, I, uh, mouse, bro. I don't know. Why do these? Why do they come in the house? It's not. They, they don't belong in the house. And then you have to do things you regret for the rest of your life. That will haunt you in the night. Did, oh did you, well, at least you tried. Did this used to happen in your house? Not anymore. You live in the apartment, then. Bill. Did you catch we, them? We 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 we've had mouse in our uh, we've had mice in our basement. We've had snakes in our basement. Did you we had a uh, baby snake? A baby snake came in the house. Yeah. What'd you do with these things? Did you did you eat them? Fry them up? What, what would you do with these these creatures? We let them loose outside somewhere. You would you would basically try to capture them and then you would set them free. Yeah, my parents would drive kind of far away, you know, at least several miles, and then let really? loose in the woods. Yeah! <laughs> That's a little extreme, isn't it? <laughs> well, you don't want them to come back. But anyway, you know, the, this what happens, and, uh, you know, we're, we're all kind of like mice, aren't we? You know, we're running around trying to trying to find that, uh, that piece of cheese, you know, that, that's for us. Yeah, and except instead, some jerk, food. Some jerk captures in a sticky liquid which happens to us almost every day and forces us to do things and takes our life away. <laughs> it's a metaphor for life. The sticky substance is a metaphor for life. That's very deep. We got some well, allergies going? Otherwise it wouldn't capture their feet. Where'd you throw that tissue? In the trash can. Well, we can't see that. It looks like you're just throwing them on the floor, basically. There's a, there, there's a trash can over there. This is why the show's a video podcast. So we can so see can things see like this. my nose? Yeah, remember that day you were throwing things on the bed? Throw it on the bed. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, we filmed some stuff this weekend. Yes, we did. And speaking of, it kind of fits in with the conversation, because we were out in the wilderness the doing woods. some stuff. And you were very much out of your element, OJ. You were not very comfortable in the woods. You don't, you don't like it. Like, You're not a woodsy well, type dude. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm freaking I can out. do Every, the woods for yeah. like short periods of time, but... I don't like stepping into leaves that go up past my ankles because I do not want to get bitten by a deer tick. You're very, you're very like at your elm and you're very freaking out. Like every five minutes, it was like, oh, there's an ant. 
Yeah, there's ants. And then, yeah, there's John. Like, yeah. Then at the towards the end, it was just getting out of control. It's like, oh, there's rocks. Look, there's a rock. Oh, there's a rock that here. Is an exaggeration. That's what happened. No, it's true. Oh, there's a tree. Like it was, it was getting bad. What was happening here? I remember saying, "Ah, oh, there's a tree." When you told me to walk through a particular area, and I could not because there was a tree in my path, and it was catching my cape. Oh, there's a rock. Oh. Well, anyway, we had a good time out uh, out in the woods. Uh, I kind of realized like people aren't used to being in the woods and stuff. That's where people used to live, right? You'd have to go out in the woods, get your your, your meal, capture the the mice. You know, you wouldn't be trying to well, keep them out of the house. You'd want them there, to come in the you... house so you could so you could cook them. That was well, your dinner. You, you got the mouse already. I mean, you didn't <laughs> cook them. I don't know. Well, uh, that this would happen around the woods, doing some stuff and. It's funny, because every time we film something, it, uh, I kind of learn a little bit. The, the unfortunate part is I kind of screw up when we do it. <laughs> well... When we, do new th- when we do things that are new, I always kind of mess it up a little bit, and then I go home, like, oh, I should have done this, and I learn. You well, know? there was no way to know that beforehand. This was the first time we did it. Because every time we do things, we always have, like, we're always in, like, a room, or we have, like, a, only a certain amount of space. Yeah. And then, uh, all of a sudden, we're in this area that's, like, you know, huge. <sighs> God's country, you know. Oh, gigantic. So that was a, a big place to roam. So it all kind of went out the window. Like, oh, shit. Because usually we do, like, close-ups, and then we do, like, a wide shot. But uh, we had, yeah. like, all of a sudden it was just like, oh, my God, this is a lot of space to work with here. <laughs> yeah. So, well, you know, learn, you pick things up, though. That's how it goes. Yeah, I don't know. We got to, uh... What? I don't know. We didn't get to see the farm animals, which is a shame. But we had well, a good time. We saw with... them. We well... saw them a lot of the one time before that. Yeah, but it's cool to see him again. Maybe yeah. the otters were awake this time. I I don't know. Maybe they're hiding from you. Anyway, hi- anyway, Shaz made a whole punch. I want to give a tentative date. Do you think I should should not do this? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you could say tentative and see what you can. I have a tentative date that we're pretty confident with. We're probably 90% sure we're confident with it. Even though we haven't uh, filled all the roles out, except for one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're pretty confident someone will, will be doing it. So, um, I want to give a tentative date for episode six. That will be Sunday, June 2nd, 2013, not 2014. Like a lot of people predicted it would be. Yeah. Including ourselves. 2013, June 2nd will be, uh, at least one episode that day. So uh, I think we could, we could pull that off. I think we, if we put that out there, it'll, it also puts a pressure on us, which I like. I like Working under pressure. Do, 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 right. do. Like Billy Joel would say. So uh, that does that. Anything? <laughs> there's, a, there's a song called Pressure by Billy Joel. True, but I always think of the Billy of the uh, David Bowie and Queen one. Oh, Under Pressure? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Vanilla, Vanilla Ice ruined it, though. Sing his dings. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, you like that? You like that date? That's a good date. Start off the, the, the summer, basically. Boom. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you said the second, not the first. Why? Because my dad just got baseball tickets. Well, you don't have to be here for it. It's going to go online. Yeah, I know. You're not, uh, we're you not don't have to stream like, or anything? You're not like physically acting. Like yeah, we're not going to stream it or anything? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll figure it out when we get closer to the day. And then maybe that night we'll stream, we'll, we'll like stream the episode and then talk to the peeps. If they want to talk to us about it or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure uh, it out. First, got to finish it. Yeah, that's the... That's the uh, operative part right there yes right on very nice there you go yeah yeah all right uh today is batman's birthday well not today this month oh it's not today it's uh i don't know the exact day but in may of 1939 was the first batman appearance detective comics number 27 oh 27 Yes. Or the first twenty six, I have to wonder. Uh, they were not. They were not Batman. So Is it like Sam Spade style stuff. I don't know who it was. Oh. You'd have to. You'd have to find those issues. They probably cost several thousand dollars. Ah oh, man. Yeah. Well, you could just ask somebody what they were. You don't have to go out and buy them yourself. How could you trust them? Anyway, Batman. Batman's probably the greatest. Uh, comic book character this is kind of a bold statement I'm making right I'm asking for problems with this probably the greatest comic book character created what do you think about that the greatest comic book character Batman 
He's pretty good. Cause I mean, he's one of the better ones. He's yeah, pretty good. He's lasted for many years. I mean, he's gone through some changes, but he's a very human character. Yes, that's despite what people like. Fact, him. Yeah, I mean, he's a very human character, despite the fact that he does things that almost any normal human couldn't, even though it's theoretically. But people possible. think they, maybe they could. Yeah. You know, even though they really can't. And it would be pretty impossible for him to do stuff like just even swing from building the buildings. Pretty much impossible. That Not impossible, but you can't really do that. <laughs> you know. I wouldn't trust one of those. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're gonna I don't talk, even we trust have, zip lines We have a much. story about this today that we'll get to later involving uh, ponytails and swinging. We'll get to this later. But anyway, <laughs> you think about that uh, 1939. That character's been around uh, quite some time. That generation was after World generation. War two. Pre. Or was that, was that like the beginning? I don't know. Pretty sure World War II was like around 40. Well, it was 42. It must have been just before, like right around the World War II era. But that's era. generation after generation. That's, a, that's a, and probably, you know, that character's not going to slow down. He's probably as popular as ever now. I should hope that he doesn't slow down. He's a cool character. Even if DC is kind of just pumping out Batman everything since everyone loves him because of uh, they can't stop it, awesome though. movies. They can't stop it. He's a behemoth. So anyway, uh, what, do you, what are your sort of favorite uh, Batman series? Issues? Series? Mm. Well, the one everyone is going to say, well, not everyone, but one of the, I think uh, Killing Joke is pretty good. You like that one? Of course I like that one. What's with the ending on that? I don't understand it. Uh, what? You mean where, is that, isn't that, I'm not going to talk about the end. <laughs> All right, you like the Killing Joke? You like uh, yeah. your your one? You like the Frank Miller? Stuff? Your one was really good. I really like the Long Halloween. You like uh, Long Best Halloween? Best description did, of Two Face. Did you see um, what was, Dark Victory? Wasn't that wasn't that after Long Halloween? I have not seen Dark Victory. Well, you a, you read it. I you have do not, actually. You do see parts of it, yeah. But how about Nightfall? Bane. Uh, I. I don't even know if I actually read all of Nightfall. I think I read like two issues. That's, That's the one where lot. Batman's back breaks, right? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. And then uh, Death in the Family, I think you read. Oh, gosh. Jason Todd's lovely, lovely time. <laughs> yeah, um, that was messed up, man. Those are probably some of my favorite ones. Those, those are great. Good. I mean, you can read those, those over and over again, man. I haven't read Hush or Widening Gyre. Hush is pretty good. It was, it was real hot when it was like coming out. Because you know, people were like, oh my god, what is this? where's this going? It had every character in it, and it was Jim Lee drawing. But then it didn't, I guess people didn't like the ending that much. I don't know. That happens a lot, because people always expect some kind of huge ending, but when it's part of the continuity, they, don't, they never really do something crazy. You know, because it's... My favorite, I think my favorite Batman one was the one where he's totally not dead and he goes back in time. Was that uh, with Grant Morrison? What is that? I don't even know. I'm kidding. Are you making I something up? Was that when you wrote yourself? No, isn't that at, no? Isn't that the one after Final Crisis? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't. I was just making fun of it because it was just so weird. You didn't like it. I didn't. I don't know. I have to read it before I can honest to goodness judge it. But would you, uh, it's kind of a funny concept. Would you write it? Let's say someone's like, we want you to write a, write a bat. DC's like, we want you to write Batman. You're gonna do uh, 20 issues, a 20 issue run out of the main series. Dang. Roll with it. Dang, that is. Would you take that on? That's a lot of responsibility. They'll pay you. They'll pay you money. <laughs> That's a lot of I mean, pressure, man. It's a lot of pressure. I mean, how could you say no to writing Batman, but how could you possibly do it justice? You got to really, mean, you're up against all the greats, really. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I mean, getting compared to Frank, would you want to be compared to Frank Miller? If, uh, is well, that if, something if you someone like, If someone's like he's as good as him, I'd like that's a nice comparison. Yeah, yeah, but how many people are as good as Frank Miller? Nobody. I think uh, I would love to do it. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, um, if I did it, I'd have to like, I'd have to create like new characters or something to go with because I wouldn't be able to comfortable doing like the whole thing with like writing the Joker and oh god, there's just too much. Like I said, like you said, there's too much weight of the past. To compete with there, so I wouldn't be comfortable doing like the Joker or like any of that. I'd have to create like my own my own characters to uh, a new guy, a new guy. Maybe his, name's, your, maybe his yeah. name's OJ. I don't know. I'll come up with it later. <laughs> but I'd probably, I'd probably try. You'd have to, you'd have to accept that, man. 
I mean, well, okay, so you're making a new Batman villain, right? Mm -hmm. Who would your new Batman villain be? Everything's been done. It's just really hard, but I, I, that's what I'd have to come up with. I don't know. How about... Okay. You're, you're making a, a character now? Half cat... Painted up like a clown. You can't have a cat. Asks questions. <laughs> half of his mouth and that's head not a new is character. It's just all the other ones combined. And he's obsessed with flightless waterfowl. That's not a new character, man. You're just combining other characters. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I am completely doing it wrong. Someone stop me. Yeah, that's what a lot of people. You know, that's that's one way to do it, though. You take two things that are different, put them together. And then create something new. You know, that's, that's okay. It can be based on something that's already out. It doesn't have to be completely new, but... Yeah. You know. I would uh, I would do it, and uh, that may be a goal of my in my life, that I'd like to uh, to write a Batman story. I don't know if anyone would... Uh, if they would actually make this, the thing. Well, but I had I'll, a thought. I'll, uh, maybe I'll just write one for myself. Maybe I'll uh, let you read it someday. That would be cool. <laughs> See what you think. So here's a thought. Mm-hmm. They've, they've had Batman go against all sorts of different things. You know what they need? A Batman Mega Man crossover. That's what I'd write. He fits right in with the man part. I, they had Batman and versus Aliens, Predator, all that jazz. Heck, there's probably Batman and G.I. Joe out there somewhere. Batman and Mega Man. I'm sure they could do it. If there's a dollar to be made, they will do it. And then, and then after that's over... The Dark Knight Returns, Batman, and Mega Man X. Wow. Tremendous. So, uh, happy birthday to Batman. He's uh, pretty old. 500 years old. No, 74. Is that right? And uh, entertaining the people for a long time. <laughs> you know, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, he's, he's good. Where, I really where hope would we people... be without him? Well, I can tell you Warner Brothers would have a very poor offering of movies. You know, who else? Uh, kids like us, you know, uh, we have no one else to look up to in the world. Yeah, though I do want to say I hope yeah. nobody took me seriously with the Batman versus Mega Man thing or I'm the sure villain. did. Because, oh my gosh, I was being completely kidding. I would not disrespect Batman. I would not disrespect the cowl in such a fashion. Because you disrespect the cowl, cowl's going to come for you. I have a uh, little cousin, and he loves the Batman. He's six years old. Loves Batman. Oh. Yeah, he's six years old. He's pretty dumb. Well, I guess I guess for his age, he's, he's proper intelligence. Okay. But for like the, you know, compared to the average person, he's not very smart. Right. Which I guess is how it's supposed to be. But he loves the Batman, and uh, he loves games, right? And Fair he, th he thinks I'm like the coolest guy because I got all these games all the place and all the Batman stuff and all the Batman stuff. But uh, it's it's kind of hard for kids because they they uh, there's like kind of two different versions of the of the superheroes. There's like the ones for the kids, and then there's like the one for the adults. Mm -hmm. So he sees like the Injustice commercial. He's like, I want that. Oh, I want that. Oh, but that's no. not really that's not that's not the kid version. No, no, no. So it's kind of I think it's kind of confusing for the kids. A little bit. I mean, hey, Batman the Animated Series kind of worked for everybody. That's true. Yeah. That was bridging yeah, that the was, gap. That was the, the medium ground. Yeah. I mean, it was still dark, but it wasn't like something that's going to scar a child for life. Right, so you can't be like, oh, you like Batman, you're six, here's the Dark Knight uh, Returns with the naked chick. You know, the, the topless chick, whatever she was. Oh, I need to go read that now. You've read it. You've looked at it this morning while you were sitting on the toilet. No, I don't know. So anyway, uh, my cousin's pretty, he's pretty funny, man. He will call me on, on, and um, just, to, like, just to, like, ask me questions about, like, the Xbox and stuff. Because, you know, it's also kind of hard, I think, you know? Yeah. He has, like, Xbox Live and doesn't really know what he's doing. And little call and uh, I'll just mess with him. He doesn't really get it. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, hello. What did you do? Hi, John. I'm like, who's this? It's your cousin. Who? John? <laughs> <laughs> And then one time, uh, he's like, he's like, it's your cousin. I'm like, how do I really know it's you? And he doesn't really understand the concept. He just kept, I'm your cousin. How do I really know? Say something that I, that would make me know it's you. <laughs> your cousins. Yeah, he doesn't really understand it. Aww. But, but anyway, he was, he was over and he played the, um, the Turtles in Time game. Yeah. And uh, he wanted to get it on his Xbox. And um, his mom got him, like, the, the points card. 
Yeah. Uh, they don't have it on there anymore. What? They took yeah, they took down that in the uh the, the nineteen eighty nine turtles. I think like when Nickelodeon took over, they like got rid of those games completely. <laughs> that's so I got kind of both got a bad garbage. Unless Nickelodeon's making a new turtles game. I think there there is another one coming out this summer, but you know. Oh kind of well, how about you wait till then to take it down, jerks? Yeah. <laughs> well anyway No, just, I'm offended. When he's over, I just, like I just sit him down with the uh, he just goes through all the arcade games I have. And he uh, had him play X Men, the, the the one from the eighties, the arcade game. Yeah, and he was like, laughing his ass off at that game, dude. Welcome to die. Yeah, like just the stuff they were saying. X Men, X Men, do you know? Like just every time like Professor Xavier spoke, you started like dying laughing because he's like, <sighs> and he's like, this is ter- this is terrible, you know. And uh, it's kind of funny because like when, I, when we were kids, that was like amazing. And I think that came out. I was about that age, the same age. That was like the most amazing thing ever. And now it's like a joke. <laughs> X-Men. Well, we didn't have too many really good themed games. Into the you know? cave, X-Men. We were just amazed that it was talking at all, you know? Like, oh, oh, yeah, I mean... And it's all the times it didn't even sound like they were... It was actually words. It was just, like, garbled talking. But it was like, oh, my God, they're, they're saying stuff. That's them. Yeah, they're, they're saying shit. Oh, my God. You know? But, <laughs> but it's, it's now, funny, like, that I made him play, like, uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah. And he was having trouble. Like he's real good. He's real good. Like he has the, the Wii uh, Super Mario Brothers, and he's really he's just, like he beat it. But then I have him play like Super Mario World. He's like, oh wow, this is. He's like, this is old fashioned. That's what I'll wait, say. Wait, wait, wait. Which one did he play on the Wii? Un- Galaxy or no, the uh, New, the side New Super Mario Brothers? New Super ah. Mario Brothers. He took care of that. And then I'm like, here, play this one. And I think and he kind of liked it. it. No, he's you know he would die a lot. It was, it was a lot harder. Uh, he had a lot harder time. He's like, this is old fashioned. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it is. That's when men were men. You know, I thought that Nintendo was trying to stay pretty close to those old things. I mean, they had to muck it up a bit to let multiple players in the same stage. But well, uh, you know, it's a little, a little easier now. <laughs> Gosh, well, it's just uh, weird. It's just weird to see the reactions of the kid, like, uh, compared to stuff that we, that we, we you put, give him stuff from the past. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised what is this? that... that I'm and, and happy that Nintendo hasn't gone the route of when you start playing Mario. This is a question mark block. Hit it. Who knows what'll come out? <laughs> you got a coin. Get a hundred coins for an extra life. Yeah. Ooh, this is a super mushroom. Now you're bigger. But yeah. watch out. If an enemy hits you, you'll shrink down to small size. Yeah, we're talking about games. You might as well talk about this because I had it. One of the things I want to talk about. I don't know if you heard about mm. this thing. Mm. This is uh, coming out for the new Xbox. It's called the Aluma Room. The what now? The Aluma Room. This is where we're at. I'm and gentlemen. sorry? Look at the I just sent you an article. Are you ref- oh really? You're refusing to look at it? Oh, I didn't see it because it doesn't make I just noise. told you I did it. I got it, man. <laughs> Microsoft's Aluma Room. To it's be integrated into like, the next Xbox. First of all, look how it looks. I don't know if that's how it's actually gonna be. It's like gigantic. It goes, like, under coffee table, and then when you play a game, uh, I guess you play, this is for people that play in complete darkness, apparently, in the, in the, in the night. It'll, okay. uh, it'll, like, display things all over your room that are, have to do with the game. So I think in, in that demo there, it shows, like, a fire on the screen, and then, like, the whole room looks like they're projecting flames. Why? <laughs> it's wacky stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's cool. I don't know. I have to, I have to see it, but... It's goofy, man. That's really weird. I don't know if I would, that would really add to the, the game. Okay, much. okay. Yeah. Nintendo unnecessarily added an extra screen to your controller. <laughs> now Microsoft is adding an extra screen to your house. It's not really a screen, though. It just kind of displays colors all over the place. It's a projector. Ooh. That might be cool. I can see, like, maybe you're in a game, like, you're in space, flying through space, and then you shoot, you shoot like, you know, little stars everywhere. Okay, we're flying through space, and now there's stars on my coffee table. And the and ceiling and everything. That would be kind of cool, but <laughs> you're not really fixing the gameplay for this. I, I don't know if I mean, much, but it's a little, it's, a, it's like super superfluous. That's a word? Superfluous yeah, it's stuff. superfluous. It's completely unnecessary. It might, be, it might be pretty, but, you know, I'd rather have a better made game, and there you go. Yeah, well, that's how it's been the last couple of years. It's not really about... Uh... They don't really have a lot of ideas. 
So I was like, it's just bad, weird stuff. You know, how about y'all just know make? What's next? How about y'all just make a new? I know it's. I know making a new intellectual property is really hard. But if you take half the money you're throwing into this ridiculous projector system, you might find something good. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, the Xbox came out, and what did we get? We got like Halo. We got what? What? When the original Xbox came out, what other? What other? What other intellectual properties did they start there? We got Gears of War. They used to you try know. this stuff. They tried this stuff in the past, but it never really worked. Like, you know, I guess it was like the, the Virtual Boy. But that was mostly about games too. It just was kind of a stupid thing. But then there was yeah. like there was like that chair that would like shake and like uh, move and stuff. It had like speakers in it. Oh that, yeah, that, like, that like a third party thing. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, they tried all these different things, but they never really uh, worked out. Now it's like that stuff's like the main deal now. It's kind of wacky, man. I don't know games used to be games. Now they're like you know, kind of. They're like bad movies or something. Uh, I don't really know. They're well, like it's they're a, like you, bad movies. You walk through a little area, do some stuff, watch a movie. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It just feels like they're just trying to shoehorn more things into the gaming experience. There's some things that I think make sense to add. Excuse me, but some things really just end up being unnecessary. I you know. Touchscreen, honestly, I'm really happy with it on the DS. It's pretty cool. That was a great innovation. If they can find a great way to do that with the Wii U, honestly, if they had made Crystal Chronicles for the Wii U the same way they did with the four Game Boy Advances, only it was, you know, the tablet things, if that had been a possibility, I'd yes. have been really happy. That would have been a cool use for it. Right. But aside from that, I mean, okay, Mario, it's fun to drop blocks. Like, look, the fifth player can almost play the game. Fifth player is going to get bored and kill the next poor soul by dropping a block in his head so he falls in the pit, runs out of lives, and then he's got to be the fifth player. Bam. You're very, you're very uh, upset about this. Well, that and the fact that you can't plug a GameCube controller into the Wii U makes me sad. Yeah, that happened this weekend. What, what that, happened? At your week? house. Oh, that was a thing that happened this weekend. Somebody was like, hey, I put the GameCube in here. You're like, you can't. Yeah, because what? so when the new, when the new Smash Brothers comes out, Either you're going to have to buy four $50 controllers or you're going to have to use a Wiimote and Nunchuck to play Smash Brothers. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of a change topics here. I was watching, uh, like I said, I was watching the basketball game. Looks like the uh, Celtics are winning here at the half. Makes you happy, jerk. You got your green shirt on too. Just to rub it in my face. Sick I'm not <laughs> planning on rubbing my shirt in your face. Anyway, so the big news this week, there's a uh, professional... Athlete, professional basketball player, his name is Jason Collins. He's been around, uh, I guess, twelve years. I never actually heard of him. Um, plays for the Washington Wizards, yeah, NBA team. Oh, I think I know what you're gonna say. Oh, you do. Mm-hmm. You know everything. Go why, say why it. should I even say it? Yeah, you should anyway, say it. So, uh, but everyone knows who he's now. He's uh, he's actually the first uh, professional American professional sports player to announce that he is gay, and. Um, I think about that's kind of cra- that's kind of crazy. I'm sure there's more in all professional sports. Yeah, but uh, they feel like it's hard for them to uh, to come out and, and do this because they feel like they they're maybe you know persecuted in some way. Uh, but this gentleman decided to do it. That's an awesome thing, and uh, we're all about that here on the show. We're all about you know being yourself and letting the world deal with it. This is who I am. Deal with it, right? That's what it's all yeah. about. So it's, it's good stuff, man. Stay ballsy, Jason Collins. And uh, we, uh, you know, give him our support and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, did you have, did you have a friend, like a friend or, or anyone that, uh, you know, came out to you or to, to everyone or something you had an experience like that? No, no not really. <clears throat> I have a friend of mine uh, who was gay. And um, I was friends with him for, for a few years without knowing this. And, um, you know, he didn't tell anybody. It's basically what it was all about. And then it was probably, you know, no one knew anything about this. And then he was in his 20s. So he kept this a secret for a very long time. I'm sure it's a pretty terrible and painful thing to, to have to deal with, right? Day to yeah. day, basically. Oh, gosh. Uh, not being who you are, you know. So anyway, uh, he, t- he told me in kind of a weird way. It led to kind of an awkward situation. 
This was this was a long time ago, and uh, we used to use AIM. AOL Instant Messenger. Do you still have that? Is it still around? It's still around. That was the thing that everyone used before. Like there was text messaging and Google Chat and all that, all the stuff that kind of came out that was better than the Skype and all that stuff. And uh, I was like late at night, and it's on. Like I had I had it on. I would always keep it on and like talk to random people throughout the day. Or, and I'm watching like TV or doing something else, and then he just writes it in the the AIM in IM, <laughs> and he's like, "I'm gay," <laughs> and we would always like joke around. We're, you know, we were, I'm always all friends and, and you and people are friends with. They're always joking around, saying stupid stuff. Oh yeah. So I'm thinking he's just joking, he's just saying something stupid, you know. So so I'm just like, really, I'm gay too. I love dicks. Oh. <laughs> you know, just because I think he's being stupid, right? Oh. I wasn't trying to be offensive or anything like that. I'm like yeah, I like I like dicks. Yeah. So then, <laughs> so then he doesn't respond like it for like at all. And like a half hour goes by, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to sleep, and I'm going to say goodbye, he doesn't respond. Turn off the whole computer. All of a sudden, he calls me on the cell phone, and I go, hello, and he's, he sounds all upset, and he's like, he's like, he's like, was that someone, was that someone else that just got on your computer? I'm like, no, it was me. And he's like, you, you wrote that? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I was, I was being serious. And I was like, oh my, well, holy crap, you know? Yeah, it's a little. And, uh, so I, I apologize. I was like, "Well, I, was, I, I didn't understand. I was, you know, I was, I thought you were joking around. I was joking around too." And and he's like, "Okay," and you, know, you got it. But then he kind of told me in a better way, and I was yeah. just kind of like, "Hey, man, it's you know, that's you." And you know, it's, and we're still friends after that and everything. And it didn't really, uh, really change much. Um, it does change things a little bit, but not really, not really. I mean, this is why you don't tell somebody something important via. And well, I think, you know, the text. I guess you wanted to tell me, but you didn't. It would, it would have been harder, probably, to. Uh, that's the, the easiest way to tell someone something is through text, right? Yeah, it's very impersonal. You, right. know, you don't have to. So you probably, feel like that, you probably felt like that was. Because I thought about this afterwards. You probably felt like that was the easiest way to do it. But at the same time, you can't understand if someone's. You know, there's no tone to that. You know, if they're joking or being yeah, sarcastic you have no or way serious. Of or, understanding it. Which leads to all kinds of problems with texting all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, sarcasm, not your best tool. Does it ever happen to you have like a texting conversation with someone? It makes no sense. Then you eventually just have to call each other anyway. Not that bad, but I've had That's texting conversations where I'm like, for the love of cheese, if you had called me, we would have settled this in 10 seconds. I've been texting you for an hour. <laughs> right, yeah. That's very true. And then you got to make sure you're spelling correctly. Yeah, that, that people get upset about try, that. I try to use as close to normal grammar and spelling as humanly possible when I send a text message. Right, right, right. That's um, why it takes so long. Yeah, I've actually as long if we're on the topic of text messages, I got something brief to say. Yeah. So as you all may or may not know, my cell phone has been giving me some major problems. It's kind of a piece of trash. So I went to call Verizon today, you know, <clears throat> and you know, say, hey guys, my phone's giving me problems. What are you going to do for me? And I call, I call a phone company, and they say, Hey, uh, sounds like you for troubleshooting, hit three. I'm like, Okay, I hit three. We're sorry. If you're having technical problems with your phone, you'll have to call us from a different number. And then my phone beeps. It gets a text message saying, Call this number on a different phone, and you'll, be, you'll have priority or something. I'm like, my cell phone is sending messages fine just now. I can call. I can talk on this phone for crying out loud. I have one phone. What do you want me to do? So I called them from my from my work phone, and then I finally I get I get on the phone with somebody talking with the guy. He says, "Okay, so what's the problem?" I start describing the problem, and after about thirty seconds, he says, "Hello, hello, <laughs> uh, are you still dead. there? Are you still there?" There's it, there's no n there's no sound g coming from the microphone to the guy, and I'm just like trying to signal him. I hit I hit the five key and it beeped. To be like, I'm still here, man. Just give me a number, call me back, something. And it just doesn't work, and I just hang up and give up. So your phone work or not? My phone is working right now, but it turned itself off randomly and tells me the SIM card failed. So I have to reboot it all the time. That's good. 
Is this your excuse so when I call you, you could just not answer and ignore me? You know what? I better not fix my phone. What gonna... <laughs> when I call you crazed. No, I've missed phone I've missed like phone calls and text messages for like OJ, get the plunger and suit. <laughs> We're going out. For dinner. Yes. To the Russian tea room. That's not part of the show. Every show I'll try to mention that at least once. Because I want people to like be rewarded. If they saw an episode, they will understand all the references. Uh, <laughs> people won't understand the references because they missed one, and they may, then they will uh, maybe feel bad about themselves, and then go back to to find where this was. Mm. We don't want people to feel bad about themselves. Though. I take that back. We don't want anyone to feel bad about themselves. They'll feel, slight, is... right, well, they'll feel slightly curious, and maybe want to go back and listen. Hey, hey! If you're curious, you want to find out a little something. That's well, everybody, all... everybody knows. Oh, They've been. Man, they're always bad. here. They're here today. Everybody knows. But anyway, back to the the conversation we're having. It's important to be yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and um, especially you know your friend, friends with someone, and I felt like I, you know that was cool that I that I knew that because you're friends with someone, you want to know who they are and stuff. You know? Yeah, you, you don't want to know who they're pretending and to I'm be. Sure that's incredibly hard because you don't know if some person is going to reject you or hate you for all of a sudden or say something like I said. Which I apologize for. I was joking around. I didn't understand what was happening. Well, your friend, your friend, finally, you guys understood. Finally, came to an understanding, and you know that was just a joke, and it was a bad, bad joke. Right. And you should feel bad. And, I'm kidding, know, John. It was, still, it was like I was saying. It was still the same. It was still the same relationship. You know, uh, we were friends because we liked uh, games pretty much, and still played games. And um, you know, it didn't really change anything. Yeah. So there you go. There you go, indeed. Right, John. Right. Aye. All right, here's something random for you. We're on the topic of sports. See what I did today? We have, like, different uh, topics. Right? do you understand? you see what I'm doing? I do see what you're doing. <laughs> There's different categories, and within each category are topics that we talk about. I'll take swords for a hundred. Okay, we're still in sports. So, uh, the Washington Redskins, that is a football team. They play football in Washington. Yes. And they have a uh, racist name. <laughs> That's what a lot of people are saying, the Redskins. They shouldn't have this name. And a lot of different sports teams have had names like that, and they've changed them over the years. The Washington Bullets? Well, that was, yeah, well, they changed it because they thought it was a violent name. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays? Extremely racist. It's the name of the fish. Yes. So anyway, they're, they're, they want to change the name of this team. I wanted to ask you, because you're a creative guy. You got a lot of creativity flowing oh through your veins. Do you, have, do you have a new name to suggest? For the Washington Redskins? For the, the Washington Redskins, I was thinking maybe, uh, since the Redskins is very offensive, the non-Redskins. The non Washington non-Redskins. <sighs> what do you think? The Washington prefer not to answer. <laughs> since they're like, since they're getting criticized for being politically incorrect, they should have like the most politically correct name ever. That's yeah, the I'm Washington. Thinking. Oh gosh, nice I know what they're gonna change it. Washington to. pleasant people. No, they're gonna call it the Washington Americans. There you go. That's a perfect one. <laughs> Washington football players. <laughs> football gentlemen. How's that? That's but you don't want to say gentlemen because then you, you're discriminating against women, right? Or discriminating people that are not gentle, men that are not gentle. Yeah, mm. and these guys are football players, so they might be very gentle. Washington we don't know. people. You're always discriminating against someone. You're discriminating against non people. You're always discriminating against someone. It's very difficult. How about Washington? Was we love Redskins. Is that okay? <laughs> Is that okay? Is that good? You're just making me think horrible things that's, that. Words that end in skins. Yes. The Washington, I'm looking at the chat. Washington Football Club. The Washington Humans. All right, we'll go with that. That's what Mark said. Washington Humans. Okay, well I can go with that. We're going with that. I got a couple topics for you that you will... I'm going to get... These are quick. These are quick fire topics. I just want to get your rapid reaction. Lightning route. The show's mostly about you. Did you realize that? I don't know if people get that. I think they're starting to realize it. It was mostly about you. 
it, would that exp if that that would if if that's true if you say that and people realize that they're gonna start leaving. Most of the show is me interviewing you about things. I don't know if you've realized this yet. I should probably prepare more questions for you because you're I'm the very one interested. Wants to no, hear I'm just very interested by you. You're like I, I don't know. It's very strange. I've known you for a long time. But it's just I it's always finding things out. <laughs> it's almost like a science experiment. <laughs> you're just waiting to see what happens when you mix acids and bases. Okay, I got a couple quick topics for you. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 2013. Certain band was inducted. Oh, my God. oh, he took his headphones off. He mocked me. Wow, these things are so loose. Did you hear what I said at all? No. I have to repeat this nonsense. 2013 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Inductee. Rush. Yeah, baby. That's your favorite band. Not my favorite. Not my favorite band. But That's your all-time favorite band. Awesome. You love Rush. It's your favorite. I like Rush a lot. You've seen Russian concert. What do you think about Once. this news? It's awesome. What do you think about this news? You like that? They played music for three hours straight with no opening band. They just ran with it. They're awesome, and it's about effing time they got in. So you're happy about this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Russia's all-time great. They were eligible since 1998, and they never got put in until now. It only took them... Um, I don't know oh, if it matters. Gosh. Does it really mean that much to be in a Hall of Fame, though? Is that 15 years? Like, if you're really good, people know you're good. That's probably enough for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's true. I mean, come on. They've, they've got enough fans and enough... They've had enough success. They've made enough good music, and they know it, that they really... This is just icing on the cake. Another thing for you, Arrested Development coming soon on Netflix. Memorial so Day. Carry. I know about all. I know about you so much. All the things you like. You know when it comes out? I believe Memorial Day or the day before. What day is that? The thirtieth or something? Twenty seventh of May. Twenty sixth of May. Someday. Someday. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're excited about that? I'm very excited about it, but it's. I, I didn't even realize it's been what seven years, eight years, ten years. How long has it been? I don't even know. Seven or eight years, right? Day. Yeah. It's been a while. Okay, here's the like final thing for you. All right. There's a gentleman. His name was Silendra Nathroy. Okay. And in 2007, he tied his ponytail to a rope and flew from one building to another in front of a television cameras. In 2008, he used his ponytail to pull a train. In March of 2011, the Guinness World Record... Uh, the Guinness Book of World Records uh, named him the record holder for being able to travel the farthest distance on a zip wire by using his hair. Okay? Okay. Are you with me here? With you here, kind of in shock. <laughs> he had a st So he ties his ponytail to a rope, and he swings on the rope with the, with the ponytail, because you have a ponytail. See what I'm doing here? Are you suggesting that... I go zip lining. Not necessarily, because she uh, actually had an accident and died. And we feel very bad about this. So, oh. he was trying to go across the Coronation Bridge, which spans over the Testa River near Sulguri Town in West Bengal, India. And he has 600 foot long zip wire, 180 meters long for friends uh, overseas. A height of 70 feet, 20 meters, above the river. Okay. And uh, he did not have permission to do the stunt, but he just went out and did it anyway. So there was no doctors or emergency services at the bridge, and uh, he wound up having a heart attack on the uh, the rope. Oh my gosh! He didn't like actually like fall in or or hit something or his hair snapped. He had a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Um, you know, he's already died, and uh, we feel bad about that. But you know, you, you live, you die how you live is a saying, and I think he certainly uh, maybe went out. Uh, doing what he'd like to do, which was ponytail swinging. What do you think about this? You have the ponytail. Does it do anything for you like that? That's interesting. Because he My obviously. Hair? Well, why do you have it if it doesn't do anything? That's what I'm saying. He he obviously grew it for a reason. So what is the <laughs> point of this if it doesn't? If you don't swing on ropes with it, why are you doing this? Uh, I, why... I, I I swing from ropes. I just don't use my ponytail. No. Whoa. Like. Whoa. What? What do you? I'm trying to. Add, what do you do with it? My ponytail? I yeah, mean, what do you do with it? it's just kind of there. If I'm bored, I'll do this. Not bored, but like, if I'm thinking about stuff, I'll just kind of run my hands through it and be all weird and creepy. Um, if I find a knot in it, I cut the knot off usually. 
It's very exciting. This is what I want to know. I want to know this stuff. How how is this that exciting? I mean, um, I don't know. It's weird because like when my hair is short, it's not curly. Like it it was pretty straight until it hit like half fro level. Yes. And then once it got this long, it just got kind of Louis the Fourteenth y. Would you like? But not. Yeah, it's fun. It's nice. It's kind of annoying though because I have to <clears> be cleaning <throat> it out of my Roomba. Yeah. Yeah. It's really frustrating. Right. Y'all, if you have long hair, a Roomba may not be for you. All right. So anyway, I want to do this little thing here. This might oh. be kind of stupid. I want to pay tribute to everyone in the chat. Talk to, talk to the people in the chat a little bit. Okay. Thank, pe thank the peeps for being here. The Remborgians. That's what, they're, that's what they should be called. Right. Right, OJ. So uh, it's come to our attention that there are uh, certain clones out there. There's uh, Ron Jambo. He sucks. We hate him. He does. We dislike despicable him very human. much. Clone. He's a despicable clone. There's AJ, which is uh, Alpha, Alpha John, I believe, or Alpha John, Alien no. John, or all kinds of different names. He would names. never be the Alpha John. He tries to give people his apple, so apple juice. Applesauce. Give the people the apple juice. Sauce. So uh, what we want to do, we've also kind of realized that there's clones of other people uh, out there. All the people that watch the show, there's clones. Leela has That's a clone. That's scary. Right, so what we want to do is we're going to go through the chat, kind of pull people's names, and uh, figure out what, what their clone name would be so we could locate these clones and eradicate them from the Earth. Okay, Which well, one? we've already got one, if you'll remember from before. So what I want you to do is call out the, uh, the person's name and then try to give us uh, the clone version that you think that they're called. All right, well, Mark Crown Stories, is, as everybody knows, is already Matt Circlet Tales. That was a pretty easy one. <laughs> is that the opposite of Mark? Apparently. Okay, here's one. Live well, the Mark with a C instead of a K. Here's one. Live the Vita. What is his name now? I guess he's live. Die a death. What is well, Vita in uh, Muerta? Is that death? Dead in Spanish. Uh, Vita I don't know is what death is. I think it's something like that. Yeah. Well, I will tell you one thing. <laughs> Moondog forty is obviously Suncat thirty seven. Suncat thirty seven. Uh huh. You're good at this, John. You know about this. The it's, it's just the slinky bitch. What is he? I would say <sighs> the rigid cur. What is a cur? What is that? It's a slang term for a dog. Oh, okay. It's not, it's a, not a nice word. Well, what is a what is a male dog called? Or a female? Um, well, he, he's, he's, his name is female dog. So what's a male dog? Is that what male that is? Dog, a dog. So he's just dog now. I guess that's no fun. <laughs> All right. I, uh, call, I got one. Yeah. Go ahead. Elite Paradox 13 would be Amateur Tautology. Amateur Tautology wow. 4. That's, that's a crazy one. Axial Assassin? Axial Assassin? Hmm. Yeah. I guess I'd have to go with Wheel Doctor. Wheel Doctor? Well, Axial, it just sounds like Axel to me, and wheels are... Like Axel are associated with Axels, but different. And assassins kill people, but doctors help save people's lives. Real doctor. Wow. All right. You're good at this, John. I'm just flipping words and finding out. Let's quaddle. Okay. I'm just going to go with Ifrit. Okay. Uh, Booma2301. Uh, I'm going to have to go with. Booma. Hunt. Uh, what? Oh, go ahead. What do you got? I was going to go with uh, Hunter1983. Why? Because boomer, it boomer sounds like boomer. Boomer's from Left 4 Dead, and Hunter's a different zombie. But I'm thinking from Left boom Dead. is like booms like an explosion, so that obviously that would be like quiet. Ooh, silence, yeah, that's a good silence, one. Silence, yeah. silence, uh, silence. Three two, like silencer. All right, we got we got dog X X World Law at eight X. X World Law eight X. Okay. So instead of world, it would be like the world. It would be like the opposite of the world. So it'd be like I don't know. I was gonna like go a with basement. X. I was gonna go with Y Global Anarchy Y. Well, global and world is the same. So I would say like right. X, X basement. Okay. Because like okay. the, the world's big, so now we're well, condensing it. What is it? Like what? What? What do you mean? Like like you want like Y basement anarchy? Yeah, there you go. Seven Y. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, viscous one hundred and one would obviously be like uh, what's a good word for not be for for not viscous? having surface tension? Viscous. Yeah. I guess I'd have to go with uh, slick two hundred two. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, Raiding the Blood Edge. 
So there's not the blood, so it'd be like, um, instead of blood, it would be something nice, and then it no longer edge, it'd be like a round, rounded. I'd call it, uh, Shao, uh, Shang Tsung the, oh gosh, what's it going <laughs> Yeah, I'd call him Shang Tsung the, uh. The healthy. Yeah, the hel the healthy, the uh. unscathed. Yeah, there we go. The unscathed corner or something like that. Yeah. Um, okay. Sir Dr. Roger. Sir I'm Dr. Sorry. Roger. Okay. He's not, a, he's no longer a sir. He would be some no. sort of, uh. A deviant, uh, he's not respected as a sir. So or he could be, be like a rogue, doc. rogue, yeah, a rogue, Mr. Randall. He's not a doctor. Okay, rogue, what is it again? Rogue, rogue Mr. Mr. Randall. Randall. Rogue, Mr. Randall. All right. Uh, <laughs> Deladrid says, I don't understand this. If there are already established clones of us out there, why are you guessing? We're guessing their names. No, we need to try I to guess. put. It, we need to try to start somewhere in, in finding these folks. We have to try to put the puzzles together, and this is the only way to start. If we have some sort of ideas what the names would be, we can then locate them, and OJ can murder them, which is which is what he likes to do, in his spare time. So, there you go. Phillies fan. He's no longer a fan of the Phillies. Mets fan. He's now a fan of the Mets. Well, the Met, I don't know if the the opposite of the Phillies would be the Mets. No, but. Well, if you, maybe like a totally different sport. He's a fan of the Minnesota Wild. The Is that team. even a team? That's a hockey team. <laughs> what about the... Oh, no, the LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy. He's not a fan. He's a hater. LA Galaxy hater. 631. Oh. Anyone else? <laughs> well, nobody... Moonsbro? Not, Did you get Moonsbro? Moonsbro? I, I mean, someone already said he'd be like Sunsys or something. Which makes a lot of sense. Sun sis. We could also go with uh, Lunar Lad, Lunar Lady. Lunar Lad. Um, That's a great one. Yeah, you could go with. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we really can. Starry Sir. Goes. How about Deladrian? Since he uh, was was asking us a question before, Do you have something for him. Deladrian is tricky. Yeah. Deladrian's tricky because you're not really getting a lot. I of think yeah. I think we we'll just call him Steak. How's that? Steak. Yeah, he's just called Steak. I was going to go with, uh, well, Dalla is like Dallas, so we're going to make it right. Austin. So, Asta, and then Dree is like Dry, so Asta Wetton. Asta Wetton? Asta Wetton. It's right. not easy. It's the best Moose I can Bro's do. Moose Bro is now called the Lunar Lady, according to uh, Slinky. The Lunar yeah. Lady? Fair <laughs> enough. Did you get Zentech Master? I think we got everybody, no? Zentech Master, that would be, gosh. So, that's Zen is like Buddhism. So, we'd have to have. No, he's a Hindu. Ni nihilist tech oh, ni go. nihilist um oh gosh hate techno opposite of technology nihilist plant mister is all i got no that was, that was a bad way to end it oh well there you <sighs> go <laughs> oh well, well i was knocked stuff over oh deladrian's inspired by lord of the rings okay so that means that <laughs> If Deladrian's Lord of the Rings, then a proper analog would be something very far away from that. So pick anyone from Twilight, and you're good. Just any any name from Twilight, and you're. It doesn't even that's matter. That's basically the end of it. It's over. Yeah. Well, it's uh, just so opposite. Cyber demons, demon cyber. We already talked about that one. Yeah, that so was. We don't easy. need to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's like he's talking about the Knicks game for some reason. <laughs> So we're going to end that here. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, let's do some comments, Johnny. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, gosh. Dinner. Did you eat dinner? Yeah. No, I just tasted it. It's coming back up? No, I burped. What's happening I had a turkey sandwich and a salad. Uh, all right. All right, folks. Our first comment for this evening comes from... Jose Velez. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's OJ in the sky. OJ is in the sky. Were you in the sky this week? Flying around? I heard some reports. Uh, there may have been there some, was some pulp. Pulp incidents. dry from the sky. They thought that an orange distribu distributor's helicopter had sprung a leak, but no, it was me. I'm if sorry. You could fly. Could you? Would you actually go and do and do it, or would you like be afraid that like I'd they probably would... f 
You fly would, at like, night. You would go like out like a on. public and fly. What if the people like be like? Would you be afraid like the government would like try to capture you or something? Fly outside in a mask and like camo. You would disguise yourself and you would fly. If you could fly, would you not fly? Seriously, honestly, you could, have to could fly. See yourself not you flying to, if you could. You have to fly if you could fly, but it would freak people out. I think they might throw things at you. <laughs> you can go out in the what woods. Is that us now? Go out in the woods or something. I don't know, man. They throw things at you now. <laughs> uh, fly around the house, maybe. I don't know, or maybe tell a few friends. Oh, that's 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 good enough for you. Get a few Why spotters. A few spotters. If you see the cops, then tell me. They all go down. Tell me. Well, what you can do is you can get like if, if if your flight support supports a lot of weight, you can just get like a friend of yours and like build a harness so they can like fly with you if like on fly, a and parachute. If you could fly, you'd be rich because you could just people would pay to see you fly. Dude, someone would totally snipe you. If you like, had seriously. a show, like you had a show, where you paid someone to come in and then you flew. You'd be like the biggest celebrity ever. You could fly. Dude, you could be a magician. One trick pony. No. If you're not a magician, if you're actually doing it, a magician's pretending to do stuff. I could see somebody who knew how to fly learning how to do stage magic just so they could have an amazing flying trick and everyone th would think it was an act. In other words, Penn, Teller, I love you guys. I'm on to you. They have powers. They're like X-Men. Oh my gosh. One All of right. the tricks they did was so beautiful. Do you want to tell us or should we move on? We'll move on. Tell, us the, tell us the trick. They made a they, they they tricked a guy into bringing a cell phone camera on stage or something, and they said, "All right, guys, uh, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do a trick, and we want you to record how we do it, so you can figure out how it works at home or something like that." So they give him a video camera, and he's recording the trick. And what you don't see is that while they're recording him, Teller like he's there's the, the the stuff on the table is switching, like it's changing from thing to thing to thing, like. You, you, they show what the camera's showing, and it's just it just whenever he looks up at Penn and looks down, the entire table's changed. What's happening is Teller is pulling everything away and switching it while the guy's sitting there on the chair. You figured it out. No, 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 no. That's just what's what's happening. You can see Teller doing it. The joke's on him. It's ha ha funny. And then you're laughing at how stupid this guy is. Like ha ha, he doesn't even realize. It. He doesn't even realize it. And then Penn just goes. Yeah, you guys should probably stop laughing about now. I don't know what's so funny about Teller sitting at this table. And the guy's completely gone, and it's Teller at the table. Well. Wow. Yeah, you don't even notice it. Okay, let's go to the next comment. Hey, Vegeta. Sorry, I just glanced at the chat, and they're, they're referencing Dragon Ball Z abridged, uh -huh. which is hilarious. Uh -huh. Our next comment comes from the guy who likes anime. If this appears on the show, I have something to say. Balls versus walls, who would win? In walls' defense, balls may bounce off walls, but balls? Balls will change, because guess what? Walls don't hit back, they just stand there and take their beating. Balls? Balls bounce back and show you what's up. And if a ball were to beat a wall, it would have evolved into not a medicine ball, but a Ramborgian ball. Ramborgia, stay ballsy. The question is, balls versus walls, who would win? Mm -hmm. Balls wins all the everything. No matter what That's the battle. Enough. Batman versus balls. Balls win. Batman's balls Ball. win. Batman versus I Bat I said that. Batman versus his own balls. No, no, Batman. Balls win, no. yeah. 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 See, balls always also wins. That's Damian the Wayne. Anyway. Um, That's actually the answer. The balls is the answer to every any question ever asked. What is uh seventeen thousand minus four divided by 86 balls could be the answer to that if you but, want uh one thing did you ever did you ever play this game when you were in middle or high middle or elementary school we called it suicide might have been just called wall ball you throw a tennis ball against the wall and then you have to try and catch it but if you miss or it bounces off of you or you don't catch it but it's close to you you have to run and touch the wall with your hands before somebody else gets the ball and throws it at you i never liked the game as hard as they can yeah we played that a lot it. i didn't like it no, I wasn't a fan. I thought you were going to say we played this game where like one person ran, kicked the other guy in the balls, and then you would, yeah. whoever would like still stand up one. I thought you were going somewhere with that. No, that's a terrible game, and you should feel bad about. I didn't play that game. I just thought you were about to say that. I never played it myself. I would have won. 
The fact that you thought that I would play that game. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's keep going here. Our next one comes from Moo Cal 007. The show needs more goat-centric episodes. Yeah, we had the episode where we played some goats, uh, goats with first yeah. horses. Remember that? So yeah, we, we didn't go... have the sexy women. Huh? What? 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 There was goats. Yeah, but we didn't have the sexy women. What women? Sexy women and goats. Oh. Uh, oh. I don't even understand my own things anymore. Yeah. But yeah. If we go right. back, we, if we go back goats. to the, if we go back to the goats, then we'll get some more goat stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you guys really like the goats. I guess you do. Everyone loves goats. All right. So moving on, sir. Yes. Our next comment comes from Pubic Bush. Dear OJ and JR, can you make the show twice a week like Monday and Thursday? It would make my weekdays way more enjoyable and fast. Plus, after the weekend, I'll have something great to look forward to instead of a dull Monday. One show a week is just not enough. Keep up the great work. Thanks. Uh, I don't know if there's really... Uh, uh, he might be the only one that feels that way, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we could get that much content for two days. I think we could, but uh, I don't know. I think we'd probably kill each other if we had to uh-huh. spend more time with each other like that. I think if there was like huge demand for it, maybe we'd consider it. I have two days a week where... Well, two days an entire week where I'm usually... Where I'm like not scheduled to do something. Two days. <laughs> Every week, pretty much. It's a nice compliment. Well, it is a wonderful. I would love compliment. to maybe uh, you know if, I would love to do this stuff like all the time. Like if um, you know, could some uh, leverage. If someone this. was like, "This could be your full time gig." You're yeah, doing, like a morning show every day. I would. I would love to do that. If they, if if somebody told us we will pay you blah dollars to do this every day as your job, then you would do it. I think that would be a lot of fun. Well, I'd probably do it uh, regardless of that if I had, I had the uh, uh, time and didn't have to worry about other stuff. Well, that's hence the dollars, so you don't have to worry about the other stuff. Yeah, well, I guess that would take care of that. But I'm just saying even outside of that fact, if it was just like you have time every day to two hours a day or something to do this, I'd be like, all right, that's cool. And it's about, a good time. It's a fun time. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself right now. Freaking us out. Just keep going. Our next comment comes from Cell Dweller 99 New to the show on the Ramborgia, and I have to say, I'm loving it. Love your song, John. It was full of pulpy goodness. And heart you, OJ. Lots of love from Australia. XXOO. The Cell Dweller. Is he a, is he a convict or something? Is he in, in prison or something? Either that or he's living inside of the Dragon Ball Z villain's cell. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm sure he's, uh, he's out there doing great things in the world. My Thank you, gosh, Sharon. you're Android 18, aren't you? Australia. got a couple of people from Australia have contacted yeah. us. Going to have to go there someday. Thank you, sir. I would love to go to Australia if the weather wasn't really hot and I didn't get stabbed Your or buddy Joel's, or Joel, he, lo- he loves you. He's a nice guy, man. You like Joel? That's good. All, All right. right. Keep Our Keep next comment comes from Nico Yotta. John Rambo, you are one cool mother effer. Well, thank you, sir. It's true, man. It is the true. The fact that you feel that way about me makes me then like you. That's how things work. If you like me first, I then like you back. There that you makes go. sense, right? Yeah, makes sense. To Did you ever great. like someone that just didn't like you? Like someone who's like, you maybe, uh, usually maybe you like them first and then they don't reciprocate and then you don't like them anymore. Or do you still like them know. and you try There's, to win them over? I'm more likely to be the other way around. I don't know. I don't know if there's anybody that I've ever liked, like, and they were just like, oh, gosh, get away from me. Get away from me. No. Usually, if I like somebody, we, we are chill with each other. I wouldn't like them if they were in such a way that I wouldn't. they wouldn't like me back, usually. Does that make so, sense? Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I'm also weird. Well, that makes sense, though. Because why? How would the other way work? Why would you still like them if they were didn't like you? Unless yeah, you're trying right. to get something you, from their from them. <laughs> I mean, 
if you're not getting, if they don't like you, you're not going to get anything out of the relationship. Neither are they, so you should probably spend your time elsewhere. Right. Okay, there you go. So we 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 solved we solved the problem here. All right. Well, our next comment then comes from John Vo. John, grow the beard like Daniel Bryan. I will turn gay, John Rambo. <laughs> Who's Daniel Bryan? Is he a hockey player? As uh, a wrestler. Oh, okay. The last part's weird because I will turn gay, John Rambo. Does he mean he's going to turn? Punctuation could mean anything. Does he saying he's going to turn me gay? Is he saying that uh, I am gay, or is he saying he's going to turn gay? John a, Rambo. Is he going to turn into a gay version of me? Is that what he's saying? Or he'll just spin gay John Rambo around. Maybe he's saying he's going to turn gay for John Rambo, which I can understand and appreciate. Uh, I think the beard thing. I'm just going to let it grow. Uh, it's kind of like a. Um, so I read something recently by an MMA fighter, and he basically said that uh, he grew, he was growing this beard through all his training. And they said, why do you have this beard? And he said, well, I, I have this beard to remind me that the fight is coming. And every time I see the beard, I re it reminded that the fight will be coming. And he gets his mind on it, right? So for me, I'm going I'm to keep the beard until the Shinoz Man Hole Punch episodes are done. So every time I look at myself, I remember. It's not done. Oh. And I must, oh, wow. I must do more work on it. Wow. <laughs> so there is some symbolic uh, thinker. That's deep, it. bro. It's not very deep. It's kind of stupid, but that's what's going on. You know, oi. Negative. Yeah. Ah, that's cool, man. That's cool. All, All right. right. So the next one, sir. Is from King Blaze Dog. I haven't heard from him in a while. Male's camel toe is called moose knuckle. We were trying to figure this out. Now we know. Honestly, I was pretty sure it was called bear claw. Uh, I don't know. I think that's maybe another thing you could say. I'm not sure. I've heard that too. It's possible. Um, <laughs> it's probable. Yeah, I was kind of. I remember that we were talking about the Spider Man story with the tight Spider Man suit. Uh, I swear to God, there was a per there was like, I forgot to mention this part. We were sitting down. I heard a guy in front of us, and he turned around. And then he turned back around. And he's like, he's got a camel toe. And his friend started laughing. Yeah, I don't remember that. Well, because you didn't hear it. Well, you it did happen. I'm not just making this up to be a jerk. John, you wouldn't make up anything just to embarrass. I me would. I sure. probably would, but that's not. It's not. It's true. A lot of times we talk about things, like stories. And we don't really plan it out. They just kind of come about in the, in the natural flow of the conversation. And then after the show, I'm like, I, re I then remember other pieces of it because uh, I got to think about it more, you know? Mm-hmm. That <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> I right. believe you. All right, anyway. Does it really matter to you anyway? You don't care. Not really. <sighs> you want the next comments, sir? Uh, yeah. This dude has a very specific way of saying his name because I know he got mad at me last time. I said his name wrong, so we'll probably, I don't know. We apologize. I don't really know how to say it. I forgot. I'm sorry. This fellow might be Ion Rec. Yeah. Might be Ion Rec. Might be Ion REQ. Ion Rec asks What is the ballsiest sport? I suggest bulls. It's played with balls of steel. What is, is what is that? I don't even know what that is. Look it up quickly. Wasn't uh, wasn't this the guy who wrote stuff about going to the center of the earth? I have no idea. I don't remember. Bulls Vern. Bulls Vern, right? I don't know. Bulls. What's the definition of the sport? French pronunciation. Bull. Is a wide range of game which the objective is to throw or roll heavy balls. It's like bocce, man. It's bocce. It's bocce ball. It's bocce ball. With a steel ball. Yeah, but there's different. There's different versions. There's games where the balls are rolled, games where the balls are thrown, games where you run up to throw the ball, games where you don't run up to throw the ball, and then sometimes you make them out of wood, make them out of metal, make them out of other things. Did you play this game and record it? They probably I've have played this. bocce before. They probably have this at like one of the country clubs near your house. <laughs> Wouldn't Would you surprise play it? me. Would you play I it and re record it? You want me to go play bocce and record it? 
I want to see you play the game with, with yeah, with the steel the metal ball. fun. The metal ball game. Buy me the metal ball game. Let's do this thing. All right, let's set this up. It's on the you list. heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Ramborsian Olympics, year two. We're with playing ball. with balls. That'd be interesting. Okay. All right. Our next comes from Pierre. Our next comment comes from PS3 TNA. The next to go Stay together. Stay over easy. The next to go together. To which Taylor Simpson replies, Stay vaginal. Take D from everyone. <laughs> You're trying to come up with a different catchphrase and stay ballsy. We're like that's you know we have to try different uh, reproductive organs. So that's what PS3 TNA came up with. What is it? Yep, what did stay you over easy. There you go. And then Taylor Simpson, you know, the the stay go. ballsy. Don't take from anyone. Right. Became stay vaginal. Take from anyone. Get the shirts going. <sighs> keep it going. Here. Let's keep it rolling. Our next comment is from Dark Soul Kira. I am no longer of the show virgin. We're, we're I guess glad you watched the you show came. for the first time. Mm -hmm. Would you say I'm glad you came? Is that what you said? To watch the show. That is filthy. I didn't mean it that way, you jerk. You are filth. I didn't mean so it anyway, that way. So anyway, he lost he lost his show virginity by watching the show, which is which is uh, includes you and I. So did we together take his virginity? Can you make that statement? Is that okay to say? No. Well, that's essentially what happened, isn't it? I wouldn't put it that way. But you could, you could, you could technically make that point, is what I'm trying to tell you. I'd prefer if you didn't. But you could, though. Just, you know, if you wanted to, you could say that. It would be accurate, based on what we know. Uh. Are you done? Keep going. Our next comment comes from Parkanian ZX. I have an Uncle Yo at Kineticon. He's a cool guy. Yes, Uncle Yo. Uh, apparently, uh, this gentleman met Uncle Yo. It's kind of interesting. And uh, he, he goes to a lot of these conventions. Uncle Yo, of course, yeah. is going to be working with us uh, on the Schnauzman Hole Punch episodes uh, very soon. You know, I, I actually didn't. Yeah. It was funny. I met him and didn't realize he was Uncle Yo. I met him. Was? I met him at Carrie, the white mage's birthday party. And they said, oh, hey, this is Carl. He's a stand-up comedian. I'm like, oh, hey, Carl, what's up? <laughs> and then someone else said, oh, yeah, he's Uncle Yo. I'm like, wait, what? So you knew that you knew of the oh. name before this? Yeah. You, I, you I see always... him like, at a lot of the conventions I go to. There'd be an Uncle Yo panel, and I always wanted to go, but I never had time. Is that what you told him? Excuse he wasn't me. upset with I you. may have said that. I don't remember. I see. You do see. So, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a known dude, and um, I'm excited to be working with him, so that's cool, you know. And it's hey, cool that yeah. uh, some people out there uh, know him and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, it's going to be seems fun. Like a, seems like a, a, a cool guy. I didn't get to meet him yet. Oh, you will. But I, I, I said, we're going back and forth in emails. Yeah. And I sent him, like, I'm like, listen, dude, this one day I want to do, like, a lot. Like, I'm going to meet a lot of stuff. We got to go through a lot of material. Um, I'm, is it cool if I send it to you? Blah, blah, blah. And then he just responds. He's like, let's do this. That's all he wrote. I was like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, baby. Like, whoa. That's him. Let's do this, okay? All right. You want to do the next couple comments? I this got is John right Voe. There's a lot of comments oh, today. John Voe twice today. John Voe again. What's the other one he had? I didn't even notice that. John Voe also. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, John Voe. Taking over. Mm. He says, make OJ do meat spin. What does that mean? Make OJ do no, meat no, spin. No, do you know what that is? Here. No, we're done here. We're is, done. That like a, is that like a thing? It's a thing. It's like, an, it's like the Carlin shake or something, whatever is going no, on? No, it's gross, I think. If it's the thing I'm thinking of, it's, <laughs> it involves a naked man, among other things. I don't know that. Should I look it up right now on uh, Google Image? Uh, do you it depends. That? If you do, well, at least we'll see your face when it happens. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, You're trying to screw me over. All right, this is Dude, from Philly's okay. fan. Oh. Mm -hmm. Philly's fan, of course. It says, hey, John and OJ, you guys mentioned back in January that a young OJ was in a drug use prevention video in middle school and that OJ knew where the VHS of it was. My question is, did OJ ever retrieve it? And if, when he does, will it be on the show? Maybe as an intro, question mark. So people might not know about this. Uh, I guess when OJ was a, was a kid, he was in some sort of uh, 
uh, drug prevention video that was yeah nationally uh, actually, nationally uh, syndicated or something. It was it was uh, I think NBC or ABC's Kids Parents Straight Talk on Drugs. And they played this all over the country. You were in this video, and you thought maybe you had a VHS copy of it. Oh, I, I do. It's at my parents' house in my old bedroom. Can we get, are we going to get this or not? It's just from months ago. Uh, I I haven't actually been to my parents' house since before Christmas. I know that you don't talk to your parents anymore, but it'd be great to get this video and uh, <sighs> and uh, it would save me a little bit of time. I don't have to do an intro for the show. I could just <laughs> put that in there. It'd be great for me because I don't have to. Oh gosh, I was this. a chubby, weird little child with bad hair. Can also, we get, can we get this video soon. Like also, they had me on the show as an example of what happens. So don't do drugs, kids, or you'll end up like this. You were the example of what to do. Well, you never nah, did drugs your whole life, so maybe the the whole thing. It helped. wasn't. It was. I wasn't an example. I was just on there. What well, took me the, off? Maybe though, the whole thing helped you. What bugged me, man, what was it was Peter Jennings, and he asked a question, and I raised my hand to answer a question, and he didn't call on me. So I start putting my hand down when he asks a new question, and then he calls on me. So you met Peter Jennings? Uh, like I shook his hand briefly. Was he nice? He was nice. He did call a friend of mine wishy-washy. He called someone wishy-washy? Yeah, I think he cut them from the... Uh, I think is they this... cut that part from the tape. Is... <laughs> yeah, because he was assaulting children, yeah. Yeah, it, it was actually my front door neighbor. The person who lived across from me to the left. I don't know if you knew her. but is yeah. This why got... you went, is this why you went oh. to broadcasting? I, I, I basically wanted to get out there and vindicate my friend and say that, that Megan was not wishy-washy. That's the entire reason I'm here You're right upset. now talking to you today. All right, I have one more, one more comment here. Yeah, yeah. We're a serious one. Uh, he says, I've been a long-time oh. listener, but a first-time writer to the show. I was with a special person for two years, and we broke up a year ago. Mm. Since then, I've done everything I felt was worthwhile as a student, only to realize I couldn't share my experiences with her. I completed my master's degree, but it felt like a waste of time because I couldn't compete the, complete the journey with her. It feels like I did so much but gained so little. Part of the reason why she broke up with me was because she didn't feel attracted to me anymore. I gained weight and I'm now starting to gain the motivation to become healthier and be a better person than I was before. But it becomes challenging every day. My question is, how do the both of you keep the motivation, keep the passion, and keep the drive when you feel like you don't have anything left? What inspires you to keep going with your projects and with your personal lives? After all this time, I feel lost and torn, and it would be nice to hear from you both. You both keep me smiling every week. Thank you, and continue the great work. What do you got for him, OJ? All right. Well, first of all, I mean, you. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether to answer the question or address some of the stuff that he said earlier. Well, as far as the question goes, when you... Motivation, finding motivation is one of the hardest things, but when you find whatever it is that motivates you, you have to, you, it has to come from within, and when you find whatever that part of you is that keeps you going, that's what you have to nurture. That's really, that's when you find what it is that make, that's really what makes you happy. Like, to get motivated to do something, you have to find, you end up finding things to do that make you happy or help you grow as a person or something like that. Like, when when you when you undertake a long project or something, it's rough. But I mean, ah, oh, man, it's tough because when it comes to motivation and stuff, I get motivated in bursts. Like I'm not somebody who's like, if I have a project, I find it really hard to do little pieces of it, like little piece here, little piece there, little piece there. It's a lot easier for me to decide no. This is the day I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff this day. And to just tackle it, just dive in, go straight for it, and give it like, I'll give it like six hours and not even realize any time has passed. I mean, yes. for motivation for me, it's figuring out what I want to do, setting a time to do it, and then when that day comes, sitting back and doing it. When it comes to something long term, that's tough. You just have to say, you know, I committed myself to this. This is what I'm going to do. This is my goal. This is my project. This is what I'm doing. Like get going for a master's degree or something. That's not easy. That is a heck of an accomplishment. He's doing I don't have accomplishing all kinds of things. Yeah. And look, 
I mean, it, you gotta it, feel good. You gotta feel good about the things he's accomplished. You you're have saying, to. You're saying, yeah. oh, none of this matters, but it does. No, you you worked hard and you achieved these things. You should feel proud about what you've done. Yeah. Um. Like it's things. It's it's always better to be able to share your accomplishments, you know, with somebody that you really care about. But think about it. You 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 got your master's degree. This was something that you did. All of the work, the effort, the time, the struggles for that master's degree. Well, what you put forth, you really got to sit back and go, dang, I guess I'm pretty awesome about that, you know? Yeah. I, I think you, the thing with the girl, you know, this, this happens a lot. Um, you you got to, it's, it's weird, it's hard to say. You, you, you got to move on from it, you know, because it seems so uh, blunt, you know. But she may not be the, you got to think about it. Was she really the person for you if she doesn't want to be with you and... She, uh, you know, basically criticized you for you know, a physical reason, and that was her reasoning, and you know, and uh, that stuff can get you down, and it can keep you from finding the person that you that you should be with, you know. Yeah. You start to to um, it hurts your self esteem so much you don't you stop trying to find the real person that's for you a lot of the times, and, and you know, I understand you, you you loved her and everything, and you know, but uh, you gotta when one door closes, another opens. Mm-hmm. And uh, you got to you got to go through that door, man. You know. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, like, I was in a very similar situation. I was with somebody for about two years, and they left me and all that jazz, and it hurt. It hurt a heck of a lot, but it gets better, and you just gotta. I mean, I was in a really bad situation. Like, I was working at a terrible job. And I was living up, like, the only people in town I knew were, like, my roommates. It was bad, <clears throat> but you know what? She dumped me. I got over it. I got, you know, I, I got my life on track. I got a new job somewhere else. I'm, I moved to a great area, got back in touch with some cool people I knew, you know, and started, you know, doing the stuff that I enjoy. Right. Your motivation, and, you know, motivation, you, f- you can find it all around. You just have to kind of... Look for it. If I was in that situation, and uh, the chick did that to me, and she—that that was her reasoning and all that. My motivation would then be to show her what she's what she's missing, and uh, give myself the best possible life I can, so she can look at that and maybe regret that decision that she made. You know? Yeah. It's it's out there. You then you just gotta find what makes you happy and go for it. That's what's really. That's what's really. About. It's internal. You can't it's, over. You can't overanalyze things your, like your uh, happiness. Yeah. Why should I be doing this? What is the meaning of this? Like, you go by feeling. This feels right. Yeah, this and remember, would make me feel good. Remember, your happiness. Happiness should be based on internal things, not external. There you go. You should be a happy per. Find a way to be a happy person with you as you are, and You're then work guy, on the external stuff to be happier. You're a happy guy. I think so. You're all about having fun. Oh, geez, I'm gonna. I want to have fun. Oh, Jay, I want to have fun today. Have fun. <laughs> you do. You always just try to find uh, what can I do that's fun. I still do work stuff. I want to have fun. I'm not saying you don't. Why well, <laughs> I didn't say anything wrong. <laughs> I know. Very defensive sometimes. Oh, Jay just wants to have fun. Very defensive sometimes. Uh, we only got maybe uh, about 10 minutes to work with. Does somebody want to call in or uh, ask some questions or anything like that? Somebody said that they really want to call in because they have a story. Do you know who it was? Uh, I think it was Moonsbro. 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 All right, let's get Moonsbro. All right, Moonsbro said it first as far as I could tell. We got a couple others, but we got to be fast, man. We ain't got much time. Let's keep it going. See it's not one I don't think it's working. Oh man. <sighs> Has he been kidnapped by Sunsis? I think what we kinda of learned from doing calls is this doesn't really work well with Skype. Yeah. You know, like when you have like a radio station, people actually physically call like on the phone. And phones function. And it goes right Yay. in. You know, it goes right in, and then you can talk to the person. And then, um, so a lot of times when you do the the Skype thing, it takes like five minutes for the person to get on. Yeah, it's 
One of those technical dealies, man. Yes. So, Moons, Moonsbro? Moon, moon, Moonsbro? We know you're out there. We know you're watching. All right, Moonsbro, I don't know what happened, dude. Waiting. Oh, man. <laughs> Aw. We'll get him back. If he, if he can, um, if he fixes it, we'll get him right back in. Let's get Doug in here. Doug's got a new picture. I haven't talked to Doug in a while. He's going to yell at you about the thing again. Uh, I, yeah. Hello. Hello, Doug. Hello. Hello. How you doing, sir? I'm okay. What's going on today? Um, trying to stay inside away from the sun. Why? What happened? Um, it's a nice, bright, no cloud in the sky, sunny day, and I hate him. You don't like that? Yeah. I don't like that. Why? Waiting for what? winter again, sir? Yes. I am okay. a... a Hang on, let me see if I can get my video working. Video is working. Hello. I have yeah. a hat. I'm glad Doug's here. We're talking about, uh, last time we did the game show, Doug won the game show. Yay. So uh, we're going to have to do another game show soon. Oh, Joe, mm -hmm. what do you think? That'd be fun. Maybe, I think we can do it. We'll do another game show. I'm going to do maybe a different format. And I got that Minecraft thing all set up with all the redstone and everything. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if Doug will be allowed in it because he already won last time. Oh, oh no! no. no. I want to be a guest host. All right, maybe Doug could come on and give some a advice guest? to the winner. Like the, when the guest? person wins, then Doug could come in and like and tell them how to handle the pressure of being the champion of the the game show because it's it's hard lot to live with, you know. Like advice, you know. Wait, wait, wait! A guest host? No, he'll give like some advice to the winner. No, no, no. Guest host, guest host, guest host. A ghost? You want to be a ghost? Are you undead? Maybe. Mm, that's why you're not outside. Well, I am psychic. What is OJ? And that's how you won the competition. What is OJ? Well, yeah, thinking? if you watch the video, I was answering the questions before you even gave the answer. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're trying to prevent from happening again. So we're trying to we have to think of a, a different format. If anyone has any ideas of how it could work, please let me know. I want to go to there. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, OJ. You're gonna die in five years anyway. Oh, that's pretty okay. grim. That I'm pretty gonna grim die season. eggs, sir. D Y E. Doug, why do you know that I die eggs? Doug, why do you have headphones when you're not wearing the headphones? What's what's going on? With uh, I have speakers and the hat doesn't let me wear the headphones. What kind of a hat is this? Indiana what is Jones? I just tell you no, you can't wear them. It's the fun hat. So it sings a song about setting the world on fire? Yes. Understood. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Alright, Doug, what else is going on, man? Um, not much. I'm still waiting for the P.O. Box and my pineapples. I definitely want to get the P.O. Box um, going. So, John, and, you want uh, me to get it, or should I? Are you, you going to get it? I'm pretty terrible when it comes to this sort of thing. If uh, uh, I mean, man, it's I okay, don't. Okay. It's okay. I'll make it up to you. I have present for you. Whoa! Whoa! That is wow. Yeah, I made, I made you Watch a different one. Chaos control. Oh, shadow. Yeah. All right, right on. Doug, we gotta go, man. We got Slinky in here. Oh no! All right. We'll talk to you later. Hi, Slinky. Bye bye. Miss you. Bye. All right, we got Slinky in here, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Slinky's gonna. Uh, I don't know what's happening with this game. He's watching it. I don't think Slinky's mic's working either. Slinky, no. It might be on our end. I don't know what's going on. Slinky? Trying. Yeah. What's going on here, man? Let's see what uh, happens with him. And then he comes right in. Yeah, I don't understand. It's like you got to try twice and then it doesn't work on the first time. So you got to try once again on the second time. But no. Yeah. That stinks. I'll try every time. Come on, da, 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 da. uh... What is up, guys? Yeah! Sl Slicky, what's going on with the game, dude? Up 8 with 130 left, Celts. What's the score? 88-80 Celtics with 125 left in the game. It wow. could go any either way. Uh, looks yeah. like 8 points is a good lead, I and mean, you should win if you have that. I'm hoping. I'm hoping too, but you never know what's going to happen. If I start paying attention to a sport, usually it goes poorly. Yeah. <sighs> but, uh... Was it a good game? What do, you, what do you have to say about the game? Uh, 
it's all right, but the Knicks just hit a three, but there's 105 left, so five-point lead, I'd say. You know what? I'm thinking I'm going to go watch the game now. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, you want to come on next week, talk about the uh, the playoffs a little bit and all that stuff? I guess. All right, you're watching that, too. You can't really talk to us. You're watching it, too, so. Well, it's going to break now, but. Uh, all right. As you know, the Heat and Spurs already advanced, but that wasn't really a surprise to anyone. Yeah, they're they're, uh, they're the veteran teams. Been Aww. on top of their conference all year. What do you think about uh, Memphis and the Clippers? Well, Blake Griffin is hurt, so I'd have to say Memphis is going to move on. Okay. Um, what about the Lakers? Should they resign Dwight Howard? I'd say no. They should also get rid of D'Antoni, too. Yeah, I agree with oh. that part. You wouldn't resign Dwight Howard at all? You would just let him go? I don't think he even wants to stay. I think they're going to resign him, but then he seems think... like he seems like he's just like a, the biggest pain in the neck to deal with that guy. You know, like he's always got some kind of a an issue, and he doesn't want to play here. And what does yeah. he want to do? I don't. I don't really know. He did want to go to Brooklyn, but I guess they can yeah, figure why, that. Why did he want to go there of all places? Like that would be like his dream spot. Why? He says he wants. To, he says he wants a city to call his own. Uh, and why? He wouldn't be sharing it with another team as well. <laughs> He, he wants to be the main guy on the team. Right, he, was right. there. he was in Orlando, but I don't know why he lived there. He didn't want to be there. How about in Philadelphia? What about Andrew Bynum? Would you resign Bynum with the uh, injuries and all that? Uh, if he was on my team, probably not. But the 76ers kind of need someone. They didn't do too well this year. Oh, uh, yeah. Right on. All right, Slick, Slick Star, why don't you come back next week? I know you're watching the game. You're a little distracted. There's about a minute left. Yeah. Come on next week. We'll talk about uh, all kinds of stuff, and uh, we'll give you a the next sp- round. The next round. We'll talk, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have a little more uh, idea what's going to happen here. I got some yeah, other things I want to say about the NBA. A lot of guys are getting injured. I want to talk about how uh, I think the season should be shorter. It's, for, it's, it's way too long. Wait, I think. You think? Yeah. It's just damn too many to. Yeah. To get too hurt. I well, think so. Yeah. Agents. I think it's too long. There's no reason for there to be that many games because the, the the teams are pretty much set for the playoffs like months ago, nice. and then they just go through the motions for three months. So. Lots of free agents. Lots of good free agents coming up. All right, dude. We'll let you go. We'll talk to you soon. All right. right? By the way, it's 90-83 right now with 48 seconds left. Oh, golly. Looks like they did it. Well, no one no one in NBA history has ever come back from an 0-3 deficit and they're going back home for game six. Yeah, well, so, they're playing the Knicks. So Red, Red Sox were the first ones to do it. Yeah, yeah, darn tootin'. All right. But no one's, awesome. a, no one stands a chance against the Heat, so it doesn't matter in the end. Oh. Yeah, it seems that way. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Good talk right, to you guys. Bye-bye. See you later, Slinky. All right, Jim, I'm going to wrap it up. All right. We will be back next Wednesday. This will be amazing. It will be the uh, summer movie blockbuster special. Mm. Uh, we're going to go through all the movies that are coming out. Kind of give our thoughts and. Uh, oh yeah, even some movies you didn't expect. What the hell? I that I don't expect. You're gonna have like your own thing going here. No, but I think we'll be able to find something and people don't remember is coming out unless they purposely go research it. Oh, okay, it. I see what you're saying. All right. Excuse me. So that's gonna be able to some uh, you know we'll have our thoughts on Iron Man three as well and um, all kinds of things. So you mean the ferris human? Yes. So for OJ, this is John saying good night. Thank you for being a part of John Presents, the very best in free and optional entertainment. Good night, everyone. Adios. Arrivederci. John, say something. And have a wonderful day. Whoa.